Hello, welcome to my channel. We are going in this video to talk about material consideration concerning the new Onyx Book Note 3 that I have just presented in the unboxing previous video. I put the link at the top of this one. This is a really beautiful device. Well done, well manufacturing. Not a lot of things on the side, just a microphone here and the USB-C port. Power button here and nothing else except you can see that the soft coating keeps the fingerprints a lot. Show you if I zoom a little bit, you see. The device is uh, stereo, you see the two speakers at the bottom. It also have an integrated lighting with two levels of adjustments. One for the blue lights during the day, another for the red lights at night, as you can see. The adjustment cannot be automatic as there isn't any light sensor in the device. We are now going to see the specification of the device. Okay, so concerning the hardware, you can see that the processor is a Snapdragon 636 with eight cores, a medium range processor for smartphones from 2017. You probably allows you to play certain games. gigabytes of memory. Two gigabytes of ZRAM, which is very interesting. 64 gigabytes of internal storage and about 50 available in a new device. A little surprise for me, we have a GPS sensor integrated. And quickly, the software is of course an Android version 10 from September 2019. We also have a really big battery with 4300 mAh capacity. USB-C ports allows OTG capacity. Okay, let's connect. The mouse is working, you can see. Now let's see if the keyboard is working. I open a text window. Okay, it works. Let's see if I can also adjust the sound for my keyboards. It works too. So let's see if we have access to data storage with a USB key and a SD card. Let's see, it takes a few seconds. The device has recognized the key and the code, so it's okay. Unfortunately, HDMI adapter does not work. This network adapter does not work either. But what works is a direct connection between my smartphone and the device. That are two Android devices. You can see that I can access to my SD card and the phone storage. Let's try to launch an MP3 stone on my phone to test the speakers.
now the Bluetooth. I want to try to share my 4G connection. Let's see. We have to pair the device. It's connected and now in the browser it works. Of course, I have shut down the Wi Fi. It's okay, but uh, let's see if the connection is really fast or not. With we'll speed test. We have 1.1 megabyte per second, while the smartphone is at 20 megabytes per second. So we lose a lot. I also tried some Bluetooth earphones. It works fine. Now an interesting use case for me is how to send a picture from the phone to the note by Bluetooth. I just took a picture, sent by Bluetooth, selecting the note 3, waiting a little bit. We have to accept its downloading, it takes a few seconds and bling bling, it's okay. Now let's see in the storage if I can see my picture in the Bluetooth folder. The picture is here and of course I can annotate it. Let's try now the screencast functionality. I choose screencast. I have to pair with my TV. Connection is done. And you can see my screen in color, with colors on my TV, which is really cool. But unfortunately, the colors are not visible when you write a note. You just have black and white. It's really a shame for the presentations. Now let's see if the Neo browser is working properly. I open the Neo browser. It's okay with Google, it's in color, it's very fine. Very snappy. Let's launch a small video to test the sound. Now let's see if the GPS works with Google Maps, which I was able to install by enabling Google Play. I choose to open it in the application. And if I click to my position, I'm in France, it's okay. Now some little deception, the Note 3 doesn't have any gyroscope that doesn't allow to change the orientation of the screen automatically when we turn the device. It also doesn't have any jack connector. And unfortunately no waterproof certification. In conclusion, what are the cons of this Note 3? In the box, the very cheap stylus. There are no extra nibs. 
it does not come with a cover, the screen protection that is not applied at the factory and seems impossible to put on properly, the device itself has no jack connector or camera, there is also no gyroscope to allow automatic screen rotation, Note 3 is also not waterproof and has only one button. Now the pro of the device, so we have the modern design and the good quality of the manufacturing, a good processor and a large amount of memory and storage capacity, the flexible screen with a front light system, a physical button integrating a fingerprint reader, built-in microphone and stereo speakers, latest generation technologies for wireless Wi-Fi connection and Bluetooth, a USB-C port supporting the OTG protocol, a big battery, the integrated GPS, Android version 10 allowing screencasting and access to the Google Play Store, and the lightweight for easy transport and handling. End of this video. Sorry for my English. If you like, please subscribe and see you in next videos.